So we should have the next game right away. But yeah, that was a bit unfortunate for level. I really would have liked to see that all-in work. It was so perfect, too. Common player was in a in the best position to be hit by an all-in. Leffel got a bit too cautious. Because if he was going to survive two missiles from the tower, like six peewees would have lasted long enough to kill that factory without the friendly fire. Just kill the factory outright. And even then, like three or four peewees that were made before anything came up, that would have been enough too. Like if Leffel had moved in with the reinforcements they had, they would have been able to kill the factory and kill the last couple peewees that were there and just slaughter the factory, either by friendly fire or by their own attacks. And then it would have been just a matter of steamrolling the rest of it. Breaking the metal extractors, and then getting like a dozen peewees while all this time has been bought to get like a dozen or two dozen peewees, and then going for round two, smash up the tower, and win. Sadly, that was not what we saw. So we'll have Neil, Kalina, and Common Player. Whoever wins that will be fighting against Kmar in the grand finals. Best of three. Bear in mind, this K group, that's actually not going to happen. The K group is not a part of the game. I don't think it's going to be, yeah, it's not going to be shown. But yeah, this is going to be omitted because this is best of three. That's how it's going to go. So Daniil Kalina is up against Common Player. I don't know which... Okay, we are going to be starting... Pretty much now. Okay. Yeah, let's start. Okay, just being pointed out by Polar that apparently Common Player is not an experienced not a player. They have actually only played for about a week, a week and a half. They are an experienced Evolution RTS player. I'm not sure about other spring games, but Evolution RTS is apparently the big one. But yeah, they're doing quite nicely for themselves. Given that, I mean, really when you consider, that's actually pretty impressive. So that is, that's good, well done. So we have the next map. Common player to Neil Kalina are already loaded up. It is Tundra. And it is very pretty. Wow. That's a beautiful map. It's like dawn, I think, it's supposed to be. It's like, man, this is... I could just stare at this all day. Anyway, I can't actually stare at this all day because the game is going to be starting. And we have Common Player going back to Core, what they intended to do in the first place, while Daniil Kalina is going for Arm, which they have been rocking pretty well this entire tournament. Now, Core, as before, stronger, slower, although we did see that Common Player was able to rock Arm nicely as well. Admittedly, that was off an all-in, like, it was an all-in counter, but it still worked out. I mean, like I said, that was, that wasn't, that was pressure. And Common Player responded to pressure pretty well. So we'll see how they respond to Daniil's pressure, although Daniil, usually five metal, two energy, and then factory. So it's gonna be a fairly quick start. We only see everything but the factory at this point. Oh yeah, the factory is coming up. Vehicle factory will be what's built. While on the other hand, Common Player is going to be, what are they gonna be building? They haven't chosen yet. Going for five metal, four energy, and then something. Presumably something, I don't think they're going to rely on their tower living forever. Or their tower magically gaining the ability to fire nuclear missiles. But I don't see... Oh, there is the factory. Okay, there we go. And it is a K-Bot lab. That'll be coming up in about... Probably 15 seconds. And... Daniil is going to get that vehicle factory right away. Right, and I... Ah, I forgot about this factory panel. All right, so Daniil Kalina going for Vehicle Factory and very quickly going for Panther, while Common Player getting the K-Bot Factory up has not yet chosen what they're going to be building with. Oh, never mind, they're building up some AKs. So Vehicle Plant building up Panthers right off the bat. AKs being built up, which will not counter them. And a Seer, why not? Daniil Kalina is going more and more for the mobile radar, and that game that was on the sea map. The game on Small Stream Islands, they did not go for mobile radar. Oh, okay, they actually they had mobile radar because of the ships. But it was... It wasn't really them that was going for mobile radar in... 
their game versus oh darn it to in their game versus Jin. Jin went massively for mobile radar. Daniil went for static radar. Daniil's deciding not to go for mobile radar, which is rather interesting. A little bit vulnerable that way, but on a map this size, I'm actually not terribly surprised. Really not surprised at all. Oh, yeah, I'm being asked in the... Okay. Tamar, in case you're wondering, I've explained this in my 0k cast, and I... Okay, Kmart, just so you know, and I'm also telling the stream as well, What I I use they rather than he or she because partly I don't know for sure whether or not the players are fem male or female, but more importantly, because I don't see how it's important, and I kind of there's no good general neutral pronoun. And the thing is, like if I were to say he or she when I know their gender, that's okay, and then someone transgender comes along or someone who's intersex or something like that where they is an appropriate pronoun and now becomes suspicious. Because, like, why am I using that? And I, I know the Spring Community, I doubt it's that transphobic, but I just don't want to risk anything. So I figure it's just easy to use they for everyone, mask gender, and make it a complete non-issue, except now number is an issue, but at least grammatical number is more of a pedantic issue. They is a perfectly valid, singular, third-person, gender-neutral, nominative pronoun. Back to the game, though, because that's not that important. So, with... Kbot Factory being built up. We have Thuds, we have... So it's a Thud, Sprint... Of course, Sprintress. Always Sprintress. Actually, not really. Kmar is the one that goes for Heavy Sprintress. Common Player, haven't seen them go for Heavy Sprintress too much. They went for Sprintress in the first game, but it seems like Sprintress is the raider to go for. Though in this case, early AKs instead. While some raiding going around, not actually finding anything, but Daniel Kalina just scouting out with Panthers, trying to figure out what's going on. Trying to figure out where exactly Common Player started their tower and what they're setting up for now. And the answer is they started in the northwest side and they were just setting up economy pretty heavily. And Common Player right now does have 14.5 metal compared to Daniil's 18.5. Daniil once again going for a very quick metal advantage. And that is mirrored in the energy. The energy is about parallel, but the metal advantage is about 5 metal over Common Player's. Common Player is 16. Actually, four, 3 metal now, so it's pretty close. Common Player just finished up another metal extractor, so it's really... It's really very close. Daniil's actually starting to choke on metal. Well, Common Player on the other... Sorry, this is Common Player. Common Player's also now choking on metal. Just got another metal extractor, which will soon be raided out. A Panther coming in here for Daniil, while Panther's coming in over to the northeast as well. So Daniil is kind of flanking on both sides. Well, Common Player, on the other hand, moving in with a couple AKs, a couple Storms, and a couple Thud... Or, Sprintress. Sprintress, Thud, and Storm. Coming into the center here, they should be able the Thud and Storm particularly should be able to get rid of these vehicles without too much issue. Even the Sprinteress is pretty powerful though. The problem, of course, is they can't easily raid. They can raid these metal extractors, but as I mentioned before, the core tower has a laser. I'm not sure if it's more powerful than the arm tower. In fact, I could check. Oh, this is arm, never mind. This is arm command center. It's got the missiles. My mistake. I totally misread the model. Yeah, it's arm command center, so it has the missiles, so it's actually much easier to raid than the core side would be with the lasers. Although the Damage is identical. Of course, I. Yeah, core is actually 3,000 health higher. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That Panther does scout things out. That's all it really needed was information. Kind of unfortunate for Daniil that they only have Panthers to provide them information. They didn't build any Jeffies. Or not Jeffies. Any. F oh, no, I do mean Jeffies. Yes. Any Jeffies or Flashes to actually get them the information cheaply. Because Panthers are 240 metal. That, that's a lot of metal that was used for that. And that one scout. And same with this panther here. Dealt with the metal extractor, but that was about it. And it looks like common player being a little bit cautious. They are moving over here to the west, which is exactly the best thing they could do. Moving to the west, and we'll be able to take out these peewees. We'll be able to take out this metal extractor, and probably be able to raid south from there. In fact, this is a not particularly well-defended area. Going up this hill would require first going up a hill, which slows them down naturally. And also getting to this wall of solar collectors, or around the wall of solar collectors. Whereas... Getting over here, there's just metal extractor, metal extractor, like half a dozen metal extractors. They could probably kill at least half of them before the tower manages to kill the lot. And then from the, probably kill all of them, even. I wouldn't be surprised if they could kill all of them. And down goes that first metal extractor, getting targeted by the front line thud. And then a storm coming in from behind, takes that out. And now the Peewees, unfortunately this is a line. This is a very bad formation to be in. The Peewees moving together. Daniil, not 
not clumping on the Peewees that much. Not only taking advantage of the fact that they can shoot through each other, which they kind of need to do. And the Panther's flanking very heavily. Good defense there from Daniil. And everything but the Sprinters are killed. That was a lot of damage done. The Panther coming in there, that really saved that. Otherwise, it would have been an extremely powerful raid. And at this point, Daniil does have, with the Cable Factory and the Vehicle Factory, does have a slight economic pressure, but honestly, they can take it. Common Player could actually also probably take it too. They could probably add another factory. Definitely another K-Bot factory at this point. Possibly another Vehicle Factory. And they might want to do that pretty soon. They kind of need to, actually. Not sure what Common Player is planning on doing. I think they're trying to store up metal just in the meantime. I don't see any construction going on for Common Player. While well, there's continued construction energy storage, actually. Interesting. Continued construction for Daniil Kalina with some radar up front, because at this point, there is radar, but only along the side. The west side of the map is completely blind, or not completely, it's completely opaque. Not blind. Of course it's blind, it can't see, it's not a thing that can see. It's completely opaque to common player. Daniil, on the other hand, Daniil has pretty much complete map awareness. This east side here is not particularly well known, and there is one of common player's AKs over there just hanging out. However, that's not something that Daniil's worried about. That radar being done now, common players well aware of where Daniil Kalina's forces are. Not moving yet to counter them. The Sprintress set is actually not Sprintress set, it's a pretty good mix, actually. Three thuds, two storms, and a couple Sprintress. They are set up with a laser tower just in case. So that attack comes in. This is likely to come into flank. However, like I said, both players are basically map hacking at this point. They both know exactly what the other has. And wow, that was risky. The Panther went back, backed up into that. Exposing its weak points. So it looks like this small group unit is going to fend off that panther. This group unit is here going to harass along the blind spot. They're going to go south along Delneal Kalina's blind spot. And Delneal Kalina, fully aware of this happening, and sends a few panthers back there to deal with that. Not attacking at the same time here, despite the fact that it would stand to reason the army, or the defense rather, is going to be weakened as a result of this flanking maneuver. No, not actually reading that out properly. And Common Player is only on one K-Bot Lab. 18.5 metal, one K-Bot Lab. Daniil Kalina at 27 metal. And one K-Bot, one vehicle. Common Player might want to start expanding over to the east side as well. Re-expanding a bit to this metal extractor, but they, do they have any Farks? No. Oh, no, they do. They No, that's not Farks. They want Necros. What am I saying? No, they have... They have no Necros. They have no builders whatsoever. They don't even have any in queue. They, however, are building another vehicle plant, which is good for gaining territory, but they do need to get more metal extractors. They need to build more metal here. If they don't build a metal here, that's not going to work out too well. And I... Oh, right! Panthers are a stealth unit. I apologize. That was... Actually, Vinders, I mentioned that a long, long time ago. But yeah, Panthers are a stealth unit. I forgot to mention that. They are not going to show up on radar. That's a thing. However, the rest of the army is going to show up on radar. And these Panthers are going to stop this entire raid. Or at least they're very likely to do so. Especially given that the main thrust of the raid is considerably further behind the opening scouting forces. But then again, the opening scouting forces will see the Panthers and realize, oh crap, we're in a really bad spot. And the K-Bot's going along the side here. The radar, I don't think, no, cannot see them. But it did see them vanishing in this general direction. If common player is paying attention, they should be able to deal with that. I don't think they're paying attention. I think... Where are they focused? They're focused... Where are they focused? I don't see their cursor anywhere. Yeah, they're focused over here. Never mind. They're focused down here over trying to get rid of the Panthers, and they are not probably particularly happy with the situation right now. And the Panthers are taking quite a bit of damage. It's not... Ooh... They're hitting the back a bit, but that retreat did not work out at the right time. He's a common player trying to deal with that, but of course we'll have to really deal with these peewees over here. 16 peewees. And a couple of hammers and a few rockers as well. I mean, Daniil Kalina's making a huge force here, and finally we do have a necro up that is working on the vehicle plant while this goes... In oh, for crying out loud. Ah. Okay, so that bug wasn't fixed. Anyway, sorry about that. I, uh, not an official, not a widget, but it is really handy. 
So the vehicle factory here is building up some construction vehicles. And actually, wow, this is working out really nicely. For, a lot nicer than expected for Common Player. Getting rid of a lot of Daniil's forces and getting a ton of reclaim. Daniil basically feeding Common Player, as Common Player does feed Daniil as well. But Daniil able to bypass these Panthers to an extent. Might kill a couple melee strikers. And the center, we do have another fight breaking out as well. Also damaging these Panthers. Fark being forced to move back, not able to construct, not able to reclaim. But this reclaim is all free. It's tower reclaim. The tower can easily grab it. That's going to work out very nicely for for Common Player, since Common Player is 10 metal behind. Daniil Kalina, however, is trying to stop this assault. And these Panthers are doing a pretty decent job. Actually, doing a wonderful job. What am I saying? Not decent. However, they are starting to get out of the way. Oh, their armor is not working in their favor. Getting hit in the side, getting hit in the back. Not what they want to have happen. And the radar goes down too, so Daniil Kalina no longer has... Oh yeah, this is Daniil's for... No longer has complete map awareness. Has a lot of map awareness though. There is still radar centered around... Somewhere. It's... I think it's mobile radar actually. Yep, pretty sure it's mobile radar, but this is... Another raid getting in here. I mean, it's actually... Wow! Getting rid of these Panthers, what am I saying? Good job. I was totally wrong. Those Panthers are actually doing a horrible job. They're about to die. The P was about to die as well, and then... After that, we're going to have... Well, not quite a powerful raid. There's not much more of this. There is a backup force that will stop this raid from ultimately coming in. But yeah, beating Hasty Retreat is not working out too well. Now, what I want to know is why Daniil Kalina is not reclaiming this 500 metal in their base. They have 500 free metal. They're behind in metal, which they could really use the evening out. Really, really, really use that. Okay, there we go. Now the reclaim's going on. There we go. So at this point, Common Player and Daniil Kalina... Actually, Common Player has, at this point, a 10 metal advantage on Daniil Kalina. Will for a little while. Not for very long, but for a little while. Possibly long enough. But at this point, Daniil Kalina has this area, which is... How much reclaim is this, anyway? This is... 1,500 reclaim, or at least conservative estimate, 1,000 metal of reclaim. That they can pretty easily take. And another attack coming along the side. Not sure what the point of this is. If it went around and then around this mountain range and then to the back, that would make sense. Bit of a suicide assault, but it might be able to get rid of the central consciousness and as a, or the main tower. And as a result, win. All I need to do is kill that tower. Whether or not that happens remains to be seen, though. It probably won't, honestly. But we'll see. Common player not dealing with that. Common player has now run out of reclaim. Daniel Clean is starting to get a little... Well, okay, with three factors right now and 30 metal, they're starting to stall a bit, but not too badly. And these raiders coming along the side, it looks like they are going for that same path as before, but I don't see that working out too well because this main force is fairly weak. And because of that weakened main force, I think Daniil is just going to push through, try to break that through directly, at the same time as trying to come in here. Now, I don't know, are they going to go... F they go this way. That'll work nicely. But if they go this way, once again, the turrets will probably finish them off. However, okay, we're going to have an attack in from the common player. Common player is actually going to be hitting the bots directly, not hitting the vehicles. The vehicle's going for a nice flanking maneuver, though. That's going to work beautifully. The vehicles are going to be able to just destroy this. Common player not paying much attention to this and going to lose pretty much everything. Might be able to kill a few panthers in the meantime, but they're going to lose a lot of units to this being spread out, being unable to really concentrate fire, and those panthers are just tearing them to shreds. Yeah, as you can see, just tearing apart everything. As mentioned before, units can basically fire through other units. No, units can fire through other units. Just saw that right there. So clumping up your units together is really powerful. And at the same time, we have the Northwest Assault, which, once again, is not working out too well for the same reason as last time. So Daniel Kalina is still feeding some metal over to Common Player. And common players, raiders are coming along the south side. However, remember, Daniil Kalina did actually lose that radar. But oh, there's mobile radar. That's That'll work. There is a seer in the army. Not sure where that is. But it exists. I don't know. There's actually also a static radar. So yeah, that probably did see the raiders coming in. But I don't think Daniil, Daniil is too concerned about those. Especially being that these defenses at the front have been destroyed. The attack ultimately is successful. And I think this is... Well, we'll see. These raiders here, this group here, that's everything that exists for common player as defense. And it's actually working out pretty well. 
Forcing the Panthers back. Not killing any of them yet, though. It looks like they are going to escape. But even then, that's that's good. That is a defense. That at least works. And the Raiders coming in at the same time. And they should be able to deal with this pretty effectively. They are going to hit on the weak side of their armor and point out that Raiders actually have really strong front armor. But their side armor is about the same as everything else. 110% or so. And the Raiders are able to get rid of the defensive turrets. Able to get rid of pretty much everything else. And, oh, it looks like Daniil Kalina actually built up some radar down here. Not... Oh, this is Daniil's. Yeah, Daniil does have, once again, full map awareness. And these Raiders are spending quite some time dealing with the turrets. They need to move past that, try to get rid of the metal extractors as best they can in the meantime. Because right now, Daniil still has a massive metal advantage. It's like one and a half times metal advantage, which we usually see turns into wins. And given that common player has one fewer factory than Daniil, that's not going to be surprising if it does happen. And this is Daniil, by the way, on reclaim, 53 metal. While common player can reclaim, isn't right now though. And that reclaim, probably because they don't want to be her attacked, because we can't reclaim and fire at the same time. But they can't reclaim. Or they can reclaim, but they're probably going to. And if they did, that would help out a lot. But they still only have the two factories. And the Raiders coming in here, getting killed. Panthers able to defend. Maybe be able to kill a metal extractor. Maybe one, maybe two. Actually, the Panthers are going way too far past. They totally overshot that Raider, and in fact, he's going to be able to get some free reign. I think he'll be able to kill three Metal Extractors. Let's see here. And Air Factory coming up for Daniil. And yeah, that Metal Extractor, a second Metal Extractor goes down. However... Oh. Okay, we have a spec here. That's not what we want. However, it looks like the Raider... Is it going to be able to get around to the K-Bot Factory? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be able to live to do... It's not even trying to do that, actually. Although it is going to end up doing that because of the Solar Plant. And if it's not careful, it'll get inside the range. That's a bad thing. Oh, if only... If only Common Player knew about this factory, they might be able to move north, deal with the factory before the Panthers get to them. And if they dealt with that factory... Oh, they, no, they're moving back. Why Why is that moving back? It should be killing that factory, or at least damaging the factory, causing Daniil to pull back some. And that might actually give all the time needed. But at the same time, we have Panther coming in, harassing pretty heavily. Oh, boy. This is going to be Daniil's game, I think. It's a bit of a long one, but it's probably going to be Daniil's. However, there is one last-ditch effort coming in here from Common Player. Once again, not really going for a flank, though. And snipers are in place. Or shooters is what they're called here. Those are sharpshooters in 0k. Yeah, the shooters are in place. They are dealing with this. And honestly, just clump it up. Go for the flank. Don't go for the direct attack. This is Napoleonic-style war. Flanking wins games. But it looks like just the sheer unit advantage, unit power advantage of the Raiders is enough. The Panthers are catching up, and they are actually getting a nice position as well. But even then, the Panthers are getting into a brawl, and that's not what they want. Vehicles do not want to get into a brawl. Vehicles in a brawl get hit in the back and have their armor destroyed. Vehicles want to stay at range, and these Panthers are not doing so. These Panthers are facing the Rockos pretty directly, and down they go. Though so do all the Raiders. But still, that's forcing Daniil's forces back, and at the same time, Daniil is trying to build up inside, basically inside of territory of Common Player. Common Player, however, can't easily move uphill, and is now stuck here, getting rained down upon by a bunch of hammers. And not much can be done with that. No retreats being made. These units are being sent to die, and the raider up here did also die. Didn't go for the K-Bot Lab, but it would have been a good idea. Oh! Common Player disconnected? What? Oh! That's not good. Oh, well that explains a lot. Okay, so Common Player apparently got disconnected. That was not... That was not made clear. I suppose there is the ping marker here. But yeah, that... Ah, oh, that sucks. That's really terrible. So I think, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I mean, Daniil kind of does have the advantage. I'm pretty sure that's how the rules go. If there's a clear advantage, then whoever's the clear advantage wins. But that's up to Polar. Not sure what's going to be the decision there. At this point, though, Common Player really doesn't have much of a chance, honestly. I mean, they might have disconnected during this attack, and that's why the forces didn't continue uphill. Which really sucks. Because that was a good attack. That... Wouldn't have necessarily won the game, but it would have at least given Common Player room to breathe and allowed them to stabilize, get back 
into a decent position. If they got rid of the KOI factor, they would have had an easy chance to stabilize. And then from there, could have actually taken it. But I think at this point, they have no chance. Not sure, though. Anyway, we're back. Game is unpaused once again, and it looks like Common Player remains connected, but also in a very tight spot. As about a dozen Panthers, or no, nine Panthers, are coming into the east side of the map to destroy everything set up here that really is nothing anymore. Finish that off, and I think Common Player might just throw in the towel at this point. Not sure, though. But it's very discouraging to be in the situation right now. I think Common Player might just decide to throw it. We will have a Daniil, Kalina, and Kamar Finals. Which, in best of three with Daniil, Kalina, is going to take for bloody ever. Get your popcorn, people! It's going to be a while. The Daniil right now is... Well, they're building up. They're building up strong. Five factories are going for another air factory. Two air factories. First one building up some Hellfish. Which I called Hellkites earlier. I meant Hellfish. And that's, well, enough raiders from, well, a lot of raiders coming in from common player. Positioned well, these might still do the trick, but I don't know. It's going to be tough, especially with the hellfish coming in. That'll start clearing things out. And common player is apparently still having connection issues. Yeah, like 36 seconds ping. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so unfortunately, we are going to have a loss by connection issues, but yeah, that sucks. I think the disconnect happened around here. And if that didn't happen, that probably would have basically won the game. So that is unfortunate. That That's really unfortunate. Oh well. So it looks like we are going to instead have... Like I said, Daniel Kalina and KMR Finals. Bit of an anticlimactic finish on a beautiful map. Ah, uh, well, that's, that's game. Okay, so apparently the delay is somewhere around three minutes on Twitch. It's been confirmed. Because Polar went off in my ear about my joke on popcorn that I made three minutes ago. Yeah. Okay, so thank you also, Polar, for clarifying the rules. But I think it doesn't matter, because it looks like there is going to be an outright resignation. And some advice being sent around, but it looks like, yeah, it's going to be Common Player resigning. Yep, that's it. Common Player completely DC'd. That is game, and I guess we are done here. Yeah. So I'll just get out of here then, because there's really no point. Anyway... So, Daniil Kalina and Kamar, that is our Grand Finals. So, we are going to be having, well, probably no real break. I don't know. Maybe. Depends what the players want to break. I'm honestly kind of fine. I did, I ate in that last break between seeing the finals. So, yeah, once we get that going, then we can just, as soon as we can. Honestly, sooner the better. <laughs> 